Can we call this a regular meeting to order? Call roll. <laughs> Nick? Eric Quirum? Here. Council Member Newman? Here. Gomez? Here. Call? Here. Kransky? Here. Will you stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, to get started tonight, we have the oath of office with Matthew Blacker as our new fireman. So I'm going to have Pete come up. Patrick, you can come up to the front here. Fireman. Fireman. Yes, fireman. We're at an engineer and paramedic. Okay. Ready? So raise your right hand. I, Patrick Blacker. I, Patrick Blacker. Having been appointed to the position of uh, firefighter paramedic. Uh, being appointed to the position of firefighter paramedic. No. In, <laughs> in the city of Princeton. In the city of Princeton. County of Bureau. County of Bureau. The state of Illinois. The state of Illinois. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the state of Illinois. And the Constitution of the state of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the position of firefighter paramedic of the position of firefighter paramedic to the best of my ability to the best of my ability Mayor Quirrell. Aye. We'll go to regular business and city clerk. Also. 
Next on the agenda is Ordinance O-22-014. This is the second and final reading for an ordinance authorizing the purchase of real estate at 1118 North Church Street. Mayor, all council members have reviewed this ordinance and it is submitted for disposition. I move that we approve Ordinance O-22-014. Motions with second comments. Council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirrell? Aye. Next on the agenda is Ordinance O-22-015. This is an ordinance, this is the first reading for an ordinance amending rates for ambulance services. Mayor, all council members have reviewed this ordinance and it is submitted for disposition. I move that we advance Ordinance O-22-015 to the second reading. Second. Motion has been seconded. Does anybody on the council have any questions for Scott? <clears throat> no, no questions. The motion has been seconded. Council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirrell? Aye. Now you can go. You can go. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. Next on the agenda is Resolution R-22-028. This is a resolution accepting a bid and awarding a contract to kill key builders of Princeton, Illinois to re-side a city building with steel siding. Uh, Mayor, all council members have reviewed this resolution and it is submitted for disposition. I move that we approve Resolution R-22-028. Second. Motion has been seconded. Teresa? Um, if you recall earlier on the fiscal year, we, we had talked about, actually I think we've talked about the last couple of years, reciting the building, the old recycling building up by the railroad tracks. Uh, this was the, the bid that came in for that project. Um, scope A at $130,859 with uh, Scope B also uh, at seventeen five dollars for that. So that's within what we anticipate for the budget for that. So. Um, that will be giving it a new facelift uh, on the outside as well as overhead doors. So. Teresa, is the roof included in the roof? No. Is okay um, as is? Just comfortable with the with the condition right now with a couple of patching, but oh. it will need to be done. Okay, down the road. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, any further questions from the council or comments? Motion has been second. Call roll. Council Member Newman. Aye. Gomez. Aye. McCall. Aye. McCransky. Aye. Mayor Quirrell. Aye. Next on the agenda is Resolution R-22-029. This is a resolution accepting the Princeton Urban Forestry Management Plan. Mayor, all council members have reviewed this plan and it is a, uh, uh, um, submitted for disposition. I move that we approve Resolution R-22-029. Second. Motion has been seconded. Teresa. Just a reminder on how we came to this point with the plan. We did get a, a forestry grant uh, to cover the inventory of trees in the community, any that were in the right of way or in the park space. And from that, we had the new ordinance come into effect. And then we also had this urban management plan that you guys, I think you have an electronic version, it was 90, 91 pages. Um, the tree committee put a lot of time into this. I mean, there was points we were meeting um, once a week to get this all wrapped up. Uh, everything needs to be submitted August 1st, 1st for the closing of the grant, so we'll, I'll be working on the paperwork for that. This is one of the last pieces is to have you as a council accept this document as a plan. It's a working document, it's not set in stone. We'll have to revisit it annually, and I have faith in this committee that they, they will do that. Um, just a couple highlights from the plan. You probably don't have it in front of you, but um, if you did look at it, they've got some great summary pages in here. We had a total of 773 trees in our rights of way in our parks that were inventory. Um, open plantings, and what they mean by that, that's, this is the number of space that we have to, the they feel plant or trees should go into. So 923 additional spaces for trees. Uh, total number of species 65 um, of those species, majority were maple. So. In the plan, you'll see there's uh, a list of, there's probably, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages of goals for the committee. Um, a lot of them address really promoting what species should be planted in Princeton, which ones we should try to avoid. 
um, how to properly prune, when to prune, uh, and how to go all about that. But you'll, as you look through it, it's, it's very comprehensive. Um, it's very informative as well. So we will keep revisiting it, as I said, to see if there's anything that needs to be changed in it. So. This also came with um, an inventory of all the trees in a spreadsheet form, but also in a GIS format that actually maps out every tree in the community that you can click on. It'll tell you the type of tree, the condition of the tree, what maintenance needs to be done, um, what maintenance, uh, when maintenance should be done, and then going in and inventory when it was done. So it's very comprehensive for, for the grant that we got. We, we really we got our, our well that money's worth for this one, so now we just have to keep it up. So does this mean that maybe going forward uh, there will be a process to determine whether a tree is ready to be taken down? Yeah. There's going to be yep. several levels of... Yeah, that's actually one of the goals is to, to better determine when trees should be removed and when we think maybe they can be saved. So there's, you know, we have to consult with a, a okay. forestry person to, to come up with that. And it did also suggest that we should be spending um, in our budget at a minimum 30000 a year to inventory and upkeep our trees. So, and then also so that's significant. Kind, it? Yeah, some of that is in kind. It, it does yep. go up significantly yeah. within, what was it, 2032? Well, this goes all the way through 2032. Yeah. So, so then, uh, they say a lot. Yeah. Uh, does that... Does that take into account that they're going to try to fill those spots with trees? That would be a part of that. So that now they did talk about, which I know we've talked a little bit about, we're not going to go into too much de detail, but starting our own sort of nursery to help replace some trees that we lose. So it's, they, they're really sure. thinking outside of the box here. So. <laughs> Those are all good ideas. Oh yeah. yeah. And they're very enthusiastic. The committee did a great job. So. <coughs> Yeah, they'll keep it. Uh, they'll keep it moving for sure. I think so. Well, the committee are pretty uh, yep. gets strong. Uh, forestry trees. Uh, so, the uh, any other comments? Motion has been second. Call roll. Councilmember Newman. Aye. Gomez. Aye. McCall. Aye. McCransky. Aye. Mayor Quirum. Aye. We'll go to see the manager report. We have a couple of reports in, in your packets. First, the fire pension report, May and year end 2022. Um, and you also have the monthly financial report for April and May. April will actually be your closing out of the, the final month for that fiscal year. So you'll really see the picture of where we ended up. Um, and some of the charts where it shows the expenditures, the expenditures were obviously over what we brought in for revenue, what we budgeted for some of the departments. Uh, just flip to the sales tax page and that's where you'll see what helps cover some of those added expenditures. Sure. Once we saw we were, where we were falling with sales tax numbers, we were able to bite off some extra projects this year mm -hmm. uh, and help cover those. So um, the May financials, uh, you also have those, so that's the start of this year. Um, everything was pretty much, it should be in, as it should be in line. The one thing that really stood out so far with May was um, we received 248, a little over 248,000 in income tax for the month of May, which is about 21% of what we budget for for the whole year. So that was up significantly. Um, we're not sure what caused it. The next month it was down a little bit. So something is offsetting that a little bit, but um, that's higher. It's almost 120,000 more than what we received for mm -hmm. income tax income tax last May. So there's there's a bump there. Um, nothing else at this point in time is you'll always see, actually it's the April report too, you'll really see the sales tax numbers and the hotel motel uh, staying pace. Uh, one thing we're seeing so far for the months, uh, this fiscal year for sales tax, it looks like we're, we're not gaining at the rate that we were last year so far, but uh, we're staying fairly close to where we were last year, so that's good. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah, and you'll see at the hotel motel, those are growing, so we'll definitely see that, that reflected in our tourism funds. So. Any uh, comments for our 
Thank you, Teresa. I just got one thing on the mayor uh, report. We did uh, transform the uh, parking stalls from Columbus Street all the way well from all the way down to the in front of the courthouse and the soldiers and sailors park at 45 degree uh, angled parking to 30 degree angled parking. I've uh, heard from several people that really like it. I haven't heard from anybody that doesn't. It does uh, broaden the view when backing, especially if you have a, a camera in your car, a backup camera. Uh, you can basically open your doors and not have fear of hitting the car next to you. And it uh, does open a little bit more space in the driving aisles. So after the first week, things are good on that. Um, that's all I have. Any uh, old business tonight? Any new business? Mayor, I'm just going to mention that uh, I want to go on record as saying that we did receive a letter from the residents of the Park Lane subdivision. Uh, they have a desire for the city to take over their road. Um, I'm going to gather uh, photo photographs and maybe talk to the engineer about um, what might be involved in that process, and that will probably be on your agenda for next next meeting. Okay. Do we have any uh, public comment? Entertain a motion to adjourn and reconvene. I move that we adjourn our regular uh, meeting this evening. We convene for our next city council meeting on Monday, August 1st, 2022, 7 o'clock at City Hall. Second. This meeting, our motion has been second. Call roll. Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. Lekransky? Aye. Rick Rear? Aye. This meeting is adjourned, and thank you all for attending. Thank you. Thank you.